Hi, in this video I'm gonna share with you two tips to make better guitar solos. I am a guitar teacher and the students I have when they start to improvise usually make the same, same kind of mistakes and these two tips I'm gonna share with you are based on my experience. Let's start with the first advice. Breathe. Don't play an uninterrupted flow of notes. Or you could also say play with the silence. You can also think like if you would play a wind instrument and you would have to breathe to take air and to play another line. So this is the way you have to think and this, make, this makes the music much better because playing notes and notes forever is, is very boring. On my Blue Heaven, an easy tune in E flat. I hope this example was obvious enough. To me this tip is by far the most important one when you improvise and especially in gypsy jazz where guitar players play like to play a lot of notes. Personally I don't like it so much, I prefer to regularly breathe. It's a great thing to do for the people who listen to you because when you breathe, when you stop playing, the line you just played keeps ringing in the head of yourself, of the people who are listening to what you do. And this is, for music, it's one of the, the best thing you can do. This is what I often say to my students. When you play a great line, day -da -da -day, just stop for a few seconds and this is the best thing you can do. Instead of killing the line with other notes and then hesitating and... Ah. And the hardest thing to do with this exercise is to think about it. You have to force yourself, when you are not used to it, to stop playing regularly and this will make the music much greater. If you want to have musical example of this exercise, just listen to any Django Reinhardt solo. He's great for that. Now let's come to my second important advice. Play musical ideas, not only notes. This is something that is not so obvious to understand, so let me explain it to you. When we play music, we want people who listen to like it and to feel it. And for that reason, we have to play musical ideas that can be heard. I didn't say understood, I said heard. When I play in front of an audience, I try to challenge myself. For example, I say to myself, okay, this guy in the audience, let's suppose he doesn't care about gypsy jazz, he doesn't know anything about this style of music, and I want him to, to hear or to, to feel what I play and to like it. So it's a, it's a great challenge, it's difficult to do, but it helps me creating new stuff and trying new ideas that he can hear. If I just play... He will probably think, okay, jazz is boring. If I play... He can say, oh yeah, this, uh, this, is, this is different from what he played just before. You know, so he can, he can feel this changing, this contrast in my improvisation. Because this musical idea was different and was easy to hear. If you want to apply this and if you want to do it when you improvise, it's not so easy when you start because a musical ID can be anything. But still, what usually works is repetition, repetition of notes or repetition of a rhythm. This is the same rhythm, I repeat. It can be... This is a repetition of a note that I play different 
three times. This can be also surprises, like if I play a chord, I play a line. This surprises the audience. This can also be any kind of contrast I can bring in my improvisation. Playing loud, playing soft, playing slow, playing fast. In Gypsy Jazz, there was a guy who was really good at this, and he was called Django Reinhardt, I think. Django was really very good at this exercise, so listen to his solos. Listen carefully to the musical ideas he plays, because his solo are great, are, are really very well constructed, so try to mimic his playing. And now let's apply this on an improvisation on My Blue Heaven, in which I will create different musical ideas and of, of course I will breathe. try to understand the ideas I was thinking about. I also wanted to share with you an important news. I will be teaching at Django in June. This year it's a five days gypsy jazz workshop happening in the US in Northampton, Massachusetts. So if you live in America or if you want to go to America for a week of intense gypsy jazz playing and, and learning, I hope to see you there. I hope you liked this video, that it will help you getting better at improvising, at not playing also, and, and also at listening in Django Reinhardt solos or any player solos, the musical ideas and the moment when the guitar player plays and doesn't play.